Like, I can't tell you how many times Doctor Who novels, like, continuity-wise, have been skipped over. Like, um, good example of this is when pretty much what happened is that uh, Scarrow was brought back in one of the novels. Like, it... Okay. How do I put this? Um... Basically, what happened in one of the uh, Doctor Who novels after Remembrance of the Daleks, it turned out to be, oh, that in Remembrance of the Daleks, the Doctor didn't really blow up Scarrow, it was a fake Scarrow, and the other one was literally pushed, pushed, mind you, to another safe location. And this was done three times, people. So maybe they'll do that, like, maybe they might have Ventress in here, who knows. Anyway... I'm getting off tangent here, but I'm just making a point of maybe they'll kind of ignore it and have Ventress in here. I want Ventress, damn it. <laughs> but I'm cool with Voss. Uh, um, but yeah, getting back to Quill and Voss, I, yeah. Um, so another character I think, all, this is another character I think has a lot of possibility of being in here, is uh, Darth Maul. Because here's the thing with Darth Maul. They, in Clone Wars and his uh, story, uh, Son of Dathomir, they kind of left it open that, you know, his fate is unknown in, uh, in you know Clone Wars. You know the you know the Emperor. You know Sidious said, "I've got plans for you." And then, son of Dathomir, he escaped. You know, Savage Opress is dead, but still he managed to. You know, so, you know Darth Maul is still out there, and we also have Sam Witwer who voiced Maul in Clone Wars in here in here, so maybe you can have him be another, like, rogue element. Like, maybe he escaped Sidious, and what happened now, there's, like, it's a three-pronged war between the Empire, um, you know, maybe Maul went back to doing Crime Lord stuff, and now he's in charge of, like, his own, like, Shadow Collective. Because that's what he was trying to build. I think that was the name of what he was trying to build, like, the Shadow Collective, and maybe he, he still has Death Watch with him. Because they escaped. Here's the other. That's another group of characters I really like to see is Death Watch come back because they managed to escape. Because some of them stayed with Maul, others broke off, and it kind of caused an influx. So maybe I'd like to see like if Maul survived, he had his group of Death Watch Mandalorians with him, where the others escaped and they're still on Mandalore, or they're hiding and trying to save, or they're like rebels in of themselves, or they're trying to you know free Mandalore from you know the Empire. Because we do know Sabine, Sabine did say that there's an Imperial Academy on Mandalore. So that would be probably mean, yeah, the Empire's probably taken over Mandalore. And probably a lot of Mandalorians not liking that. Um, anyway. So Maul and Death Watch would be another cool group. Um, trying to think here. Um, hmm. There's a few other characters, because there's one more I know you guys want me to talk about. And trust me, I'll get to him when I get to him, but... There's a few other characters I really wanted to see, you know, come in in Rebels. I know, you know, we are getting, you know... Uh... You know, Rex and a few other of the clones come back. I, um... Shit, my mind's going blank here. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I think, like, it would be a cool... And hear me out. I think what would make a really cool... Uh, what flash... Like, like, um, like, back to the past kind of thing. Like, uh, maybe have uh, Darth Revan and Darth Malak in here, or some of the other Sith Lords from the past. But hear me out. Not, like, time travel. Don't do time travel and stuff like that, or... But have it, like, maybe... Kanan and Ezra, and maybe the other rebels are like uh, they're explore they're on Yavin Four, and they're you know they're encountered by spirits of the Sith, uh, you know of the Sith in the past, or even go to Korriban. Like they end up on Korriban, and they you know Kanan and Ezra, especially Ezra, because I think he would be more susceptible to the dark side because of his young age and his you know his attitude. So I think what would possibly is like maybe the Sith keep coming back like hallucinations or dark spirits. Like, uh, the one that came to Darth Bane, as Darth Bane to Yoda in that episode. So that, I think that would be cool, is like, maybe you have Malak or Malgus, or, uh, Kreia, some other great Sith Lord, come back in, like, spirit form, or, like, as an illusion on Korriban, or even have, like, Nagas Sadal, or Freedon Nad 
from the ancient Sith Empire on... Like, Because here's the thing. For those who don't know, those temples you see on Yavin 4 in New Hope, yeah, those are actually Sith-built temples. They were built by the Sith Empire millennia ago. So I think it would be cool, like, maybe the the uh, the Rebellion is, like, it, and you can have Kanan and Ezra and the others there, and they come upon, like, they're trying to find a rebel base, and they come upon, you know, Yavin 4, and these temp they find these temples, like, oh, it's such a great base, and, oh, you disturb the spirit of, of Nagas Sadal or Freedon Nad. Maybe Nagas, he was actually the more popular. Freedon Nad just kind of built on what Nagas had. So maybe you have, like, the spirit of Nagas Sadal, and he possesses... Uh, Kanan or Ezra or even Ahsoka or one of the other members of the of the go of the uh, of the Ghost crew, and you have them and you have him at, like attacking the others. So kind of do that basic uh, possession story, but with a very powerful character because Naga Sadal he didn't dick around, <laughs> not in the least. But <clears throat> anyway, so uh, finally. Uh, for characters I would really like to see in Star Wars uh, Rebels is, of course, Galen Merrick, a.k.a. Starkiller. He would be great. And again, we have Sam Witwer, as he's voicing the Emperor, I know that, in Rebels. And, you know, I think it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility because, you know, again, Sam Witwer's voicing that, you know, the Emperor, and he is, you know... He's been in Star a lot of Star Wars stuff before, so I think what would be cool is, like, maybe the after these Inquisitors fail and all that, Vader's just like, look, I've had it with these Rebels, the Inquisitors failed me, do not fail me, my apprentice. And I think, it, I mean, the timeline's kind you can have, because this is a new continuity, so you could probably have it that, you know, in this continuity, you have uh, Galen, a.k.a. Starkiller, as Vader's apprentice, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, depending on how you want it. And you have him hunting, you know, in Vader's stead, because he's got to go back to the, you know, back to Coruscant, for reasons. And he sends his apprentice to be like, look, these rebels are, you know, are a nuisance, they're becoming a danger, even the, em you know, if we're going to kill the Emperor, we need to take out these rebels first. So go do that. So, absolutely. And uh, maybe have it that's, you know... Or you can even have it that maybe Starkiller's kind of already broken away from Vader, and now he's kind of living this, you know, life of... What do I do now? <laughs> or even have it like maybe he's on a you know Star Killer's on a mission to hunt down Jedi Master Shock T like in the game, and the rebels are there, and Kanan, Ahsoka, Ezra, Shock T all fight um, Galen. They all fight him as Star Killer, and he just wipes the floor with them because they're just realizing, oh my god, we've never seen anyone use the Force like this like ever. So he, God, he is so OP. So maybe you can go. There's so many ways you can do Star Killer, and I think you can make it work. But anyway, yeah, there's just so many characters, so many more characters I'd really like to see in Star Wars Rebels. There's just so many guys. Um, I've just named a few, really, <laughs> that I just absolutely love to see. So you guys tell me what characters uh, from the Star Wars universe whether it be extended universe or regular universe. I mean, I'd like to see... There are other characters I'd really like to see, like, how to do... Like, uh, we've already seen Lando. Are we going to see Han and Chewbacca before, you know, <laughs> when they were just scoundrels, more or less? Are we going to see Leia? Is there a possibility for Obi-Wan? I don't know. Obi-Wan's a little tougher to do. Or Luke. I don't think he'll go Luke, though. I don't think Luke might be in here. Be surprised if he was. But anyway... So yeah, really excited, really interested to see what you guys have to say about all this, because um, there's so many possibilities with Rebels. We're just now starting with Season 2, so I think pretty much anything's possible at this point. So once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and can't wait to see what you guys have to say, and I will see you guys later.